also at the border today. It was a deadline for Homeland Security to set up for Texas to give federal authorities access to Eagle Pass. There's been a lot of back and forth with this. Jason Allen has been following it all. Jason, we know Texas leaders made it very clear tonight that National Guard troops and law enforcement on the border are not budging. They absolutely are. Texas responded Friday to Washington's demands for border access with demands of its own for the federal government. Demands for proof, wrote Attorney General Ken Paxton, of the government's authority to turn a Texas park into a port of entry. Texas responded Friday to Washington's demands for border access with demands of its own for the federal government. Demands for proof, wrote Attorney General Ken Paxton, of the government's authority to turn a Texas park into a port of entry. Any time you might spend suing Texas should be redirected toward enforcing the immigration laws Congress already has on the books, Paxton wrote. A strong response came as Customs and Border Protection officially reported more than 302,000 encounters at the southern border in December, the highest monthly number ever recorded. More people than the entire population of the city of Plano. Governor Greg Abbott said today he had asked the president eight times to help with no response, giving him constitutional authority to protect the state from an invasion. That's a little strange because we're not talking about a declaration of war by a foreign country. We're not talking about a military invasion. Dallas appellate lawyer David Cole thinks the invasion argument has some weaknesses, but he said Texas may be able to make an argument on exactly how much control over immigration the federal government actually has. How much preemptive power does federal law have in those areas? Is it automatic, the entire area is taken off the table for a state to ever talk about, or is it more limited? Cole agreed, it is very awkward right now having military and law enforcement both on opposite sides of all of this down at the border. The governor also noted today he believes all 25 states that are backing Texas in its efforts would be willing to send troops to help if they're needed. Yeah, big issue in our backyard, Jason. So we'll be following all of it. Thank you for the update.